everybody, so now we're back with King's Quest Chapter 2. So let's get going on saving all those people. Oh, poor Mr. Fancy Cakes, we could not save him. So who are we going to feed today? We are so selfless, feeding other people while we're so hungry too. So let's head up to the third floor again. Opening the door now that we have the key. So now we can take that sack of flour. And what is this? A page with a heart on it. Alright. Flour. Do I say that right? Is it flour or floor? Floor. I'm never sure how to say it. Okay, then let's head back to Wendy and Bramble so that they can make us some cookies. Look at the goblin guard still struggling. Have a look at how those people are feeling first. So there's Amaya. Hey, you did good, Gran. Yeah, but there's two goblins left. Oh, I know. And for some reason, they won't come near the bars anymore. Do you blame them? Go find me a long handle for this blade. Let's see them hide from that. Um, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Ever hear of killing them with kindness? Kindness? Huh. Never heard of that weapon. Okay. Hi. <sighs> A long handle then. No, I could eat. Goodbye. Evening. So she's not in her best state. Okay, let's give them the flower. What do you want? How are you feeling? Oh, how do I look? Boy. I am here to serve you well, King, but I'm oh, far too That's weak what today. I feared. I'm going to have to feed them. She won't budge. So let's have a look at the Hobblepots first because maybe they need to be fed with a more urgency. I did say I wanted to go on a vacation and just lay about. And I only wanted to think. Oh, yeah. They need it. If I don't feed them now, they'll die. So, I have no other choice. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Go to the fish. Oh, 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 this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Here you go, dear. Oh, oh heavens. <laughs> I feel better already. Thank you, King. <laughs> Eyes of flies! 
Huh? I thought you said you felt better. The eye of a fly! Don't you see? That's the missing ingredient! Uh, a potion? Are you... Are you... Are you... Is it for teleportation at random? Does it summon a storm that follows you? Will it make you transform into a cat? <laughs> I love it when he does that. <clears throat> Apologies. Been working on that. Cat. Will this potion make you turn into a odd feline? Oh, it's nothing special. Just we, killer. We think we can rot away these roots to escape. Bring us the eye of a fly, boy, and keep up with the trees. Mm. So that's yeah, what we'll we need the, the flies this for. Story about your choices or mine. The flies that are flying around the bathroom. How are you feeling? Thank you for sparing us, your highness. Till next time. Good night, sire. Okay, so then let's see what we can do. What we can do, of course, is catch that fly. Because I'm very sure. Stand back! Be gone, weeds! Ah, damn it! Did I say eye of a fly? I meant flying eyes. Well, I always get those two mixed up. Oh, here I am. <laughs> hey, I'm sick of you! How can a whole horde of creatures be so dumb? Who raised you? Oh, your species is capable of deep thoughts, and that's a fact. That's it. I'm at my wits' end with these little sadists. We're taking them out. Oh, Muriel. Brute force? Let's think this through. No, my mind is made up. We're building a bone bomb. It's the smartest thing we can do. All right, Muriel. We will need some boom powder. Here's the recipe. Oh, building a bomb. Okay. So, oh, so we took that bottle. So instead of killing weeds, it grows more weeds, apparently. Why would we need to be on the other side? Yes. That's the point. It would be nice to take a stroll around. Oh, there's the ingredients to the bomb. They already have a bomb. Then there's beets and a rose. Beans, hmm? That goblin sitting on all the mattresses. Surely hiding some beans underneath our mattresses. 
Why must we all be so I already have an idea what we can do with that weed growing potion. Sweets grow so that I can climb up there. I'm still not tall enough to climb yet. Yeah. Should check back tomorrow. We should give it some time to grow. Do you think it'll grow overnight? Or do you think that it'll need? still have the potion, so we can use it more than once, apparently. Okay, then let's spend another night. So many were alive. I still didn't have a plan. I went to sleep unsure of the decisions I had made, and the ones I would have to make tomorrow. Today, I would need to show Bramble some compassion if she was going yeah, to make it. I would have given the meat to her anyway, because I need her to bake. So let's do that first then. you'd come through. Oh, I think I'd feel better sitting. This is perfect. Wendy, let's get to work. Oh, I think this can all be solved with a little pie. And, in the absence of pie, these prison sweetie cakes should work wonders for goblin relations. Well, hello, little friends. Who would like to sample these treats? Get them while they're hot. No. <laughs> Nobody has ever turned down my sweetie cakes before. Mmm. Mmm. Look, I'm eating it. It's good. Well, kindness isn't exactly killing them. Graham, I have a new plan. Compassion for my wife outweighs compassion for my enemies. Find me some chunder blossoms, please. They tend to grow in this region. What's a chunder blossom do? Well, we'll mix it in with the sweetie cakes. It'll twist those goblins' stomachs into quite a pretzel. Not sure I like this idea. Desperate times call for desperate measuring cups. <sighs> well, it was worth a shot. Here, Graham, you'll take it. Cool, finally I can eat something. Hello. How are you feeling? I thought I was done for, but once again you provide it. Thank the shining stars. So... What's the plan? Oh, sneak me some chunder blossom. Let's trick these goblins into submission. 
Goodbye. Night. Okay, you guys. Now I have a nice sweet tea cake. Or maybe we can feed Amaya with it so she won't need the meat. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's already lying down, poor thing. Ay -ay -ay. I feel better for now. Hope I don't crash. All right, time to rise and shine. Okay. All right. She should be fine for a while now. And I, and I didn't eat again. At least I can't die. That's a good thing. A king has no time to starve. Seem to be empty right now. I figured if I ever lost something, I'd have one to check here. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chunder Blossom. Oh, it stinks. Cool. Okay, let's get the Chunder Blossoms back to Wendy and uh, Bramble so that they can. Thanks, Gram. Bacon with chunder blossoms a delicate process. If the seeds touch me skin, I could be right back on the ground for days. If I was a little healthier, I'd feel more confident in the plan. Oh no. No, she wants more food again. What I don't understand is that now they have the flour and can make more cakes. To be in a cell with a I don't understand why they don't just make more cookies to eat. <sighs> That's just not logic. Why don't they bake more sweetie cakes? Oh, and they're laying down again. Right. <sighs> so, now we've got it. I'm pretty sure that we won't be able to save them. We need Bramble and Wendy to bake the poison sweetie cakes. So, I think we have no choice but to let I'm sorry to say that, but I don't see another way. So, let's sleep. 
sleep another night. You're getting quite annoying, little guys. The hobble pot is very weak. Perhaps it would be wise to check on them. See? But I have to give the meat to Bramble. I have no other choice. Look at Amaya again. Okay, three hearts left. Hello. So, uh, what's the plan? Find me a long yeah. handle for this blade. They won't be able to hide anymore. I remember. Goodbye. So we can leave her alone for now. The plan still is finding her a long handle. Before that, we won't be able to do anything here. That goblin's coin. He's got that coin and I want it. I need it to buy the last portion of porridge from the merchant. And now she's lying down again. I'm going to have to give her the meat. Let the Hubblepots go. I can't decide. Or do you think we should try to somehow save them? I don't see how, to be honest. Do you have any idea? Can you think of a solution to save? Tell me that this is the most relaxed I've ever. Is it wrong that this is the most relaxed? Yes. Bye. Good day. Okay, you guys, I just can't let them starve like that. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I don't know if that was a good decision, to be honest. But I feel so sorry for them. They're so sweet. I like them so much. Now there's nothing else we can do. I don't think it was the best decision. We kind of lost a day now because there's nothing else we can do. We are still too weak to open any other doors. Bramble's too weak to do anything. 
There's really nothing left. Oh boy. Today, I would need to show Bramble some compassion if she was going to make it. So, Bramble will die if I don't feed her today, but the thing is, I will have to eat too, or else we won't get any further in this game. So, I'll just do my best to find sword and started to feel like myself again I don't know just to to find another coin or to find something else to eat and just hope we, we manage to do that <sighs> or else we let her starve I hope I still can't believe Gwendolyn beat me in the tournament with those stupid eggs. Yeah. Okay. Well, she was quite egg extraordinary. Guys, oh. right here. So as you can see, now we were able to open that pipe. Let's see where it leads to. Okay. Had all been destroyed. I didn't need any reminders of impossible riddles from my earlier adventuring days. Okay. <laughs> okay. I hope we won't find some goblin maleficent around. Oh, that's exactly the same machine that's in the room with the goblin on the mattresses. Okay. Oh, there are various songs in here, okay. Is it repeating? 
Okay. I wrote that down. So that we can put that music into the, the other music box in the goblin room upstairs. Bowl of porridge spruced up with bran berries. Did you know this super fruit packs two whole days of nutrition into just one serving? How much? Two shiny gold coins. Are you interested? I Thank God I was able to find that coin. So now we can feed Bramble with it. And it's worth Goodbye. two days warrior. nutrition. So she should be super duper fine. And since we have all our strength back now, we can also see if there's anything else here. And after that, open the other door upstairs. The only door left. Three stone burdens. Hey, let's try that. There she is. We need to put her to sleep. So then let's put in the combination. She fell asleep. So let's have a look under the mattress. See if we can find some beans. <laughs> yeah. A little bean. It's not beans. Why do I say beans all the time? It's of course a little pea. A pea. 
We found a bee and not a bean. So now we could finally open the final door. Oh, and it's raining inside. Okay, let's go ahead first. Do you have any snacks in here? Pay attention, guard. You said you wanted to learn. Okay, so here we have Cinderella. Oh, and there are some weeds down there. Uh oh. Oh boy. But we still have that weed growing potion. This must be Cinderella. Mm, and that broomstick we could use as a long handle for Amaya. <sighs> okay, let's just pour that potion over the weeds. Huh. I should check back tomorrow. Yeah, it always needs one night to grow. There seems to be something else behind that, ch um... And there's the rose we need for the bomb. So the thing is with that rose that it will wilt if we don't put it into fresh water very regularly. And this is the reason They're not wells, they're water basins more. Now it's nice and fresh again, see? Fresh rose. So in that room where the toilets are, there's another fresh water basin. See, it's already wilting. Now it's fresh again. Oh, let's try to get it safely and fresh to the hobble parts. Another person. Oh no, you guys, I am foreboding something. Oh, they're in bed. I think they will not do anything. Well, I can't give them the porridge. Bramble will die if I do. Oh boy. At least the rose will stay fresh there in the vase. I suppose I should just take a nap. 
Start practicing for the long sleep. I've got all the ingredients. I got a pea. I got the rose. I just don't have working magicians. No potion making going on here. So then let's finally give Bramble her porridge, shall we? So that she can bake the poisoned sweet cakes. Oh, this is a big portion of porridge. I should be good with this for two days. Thanks, Gram. What a treat. I think I What a treat indeed. Me two coins. Okay. Uh, this is perfect. Those goblins turned our world upside down. And we will do the same with their stomachs. Would you do the honors, please? Wendy, what's gotten into you? Hey, you little gremlins. I thought you might like our second batch better. Added some special ingredients. Just for you. <laughs> what? You dare to spit out my delicious treats? Oh, take that and that. <laughs> Swords! Ah. Oh, okay. Well, lovely day. Wenty, did you just bake bad? Looks like we have a safe path out. Now, if we could get out of the cell. Baking bad. Baking bad. Yeah. Wenty Heisenberg. Bramble, sweet potato. It's going to be okay. I'll get us out of here. Okay. So guarded the door that cage. That and the poisoned sweetie cakes did not work. At least the guards are knocked out, but still we cannot save them. We cannot free them from their cell. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Eat it. I'm not actually I'm not sure I still need that coin because I have no idea what in the world I would need chopsticks for which is the last item the merchant has for sale yeah, I'm chopsticks I am what could I achieve with that So I'm almost out of options, or actually I'm totally out of options. I would love to find something to save the Hobblepot side up, but I think it's impossible. <laughs> nice try, Graham. My stomach has already turned enough at the sight of those monsters. Your Highness? So... What's the plan? We can escape if you find a way to open this door. Goodbye. Bye. Well, that is food, it's just poisoned. 
but I don't know if it would poison you, since you are magicians and such. Desperate attempts to save the hobble pots. Golden up and golden out. Middles and Midnight line bush decked. Muffins don't go into this temple. What sweetie cakes do? Oh boy, does that mean that he would have accepted a regular sweetie cake as a trading object? Oh man, maybe I could have saved them all after all, and now it's too late. There's nothing left to do for the Hubblepots. They're doomed. They're doomed, guys. There's nothing left. I'm going to have to go to sleep, which means that the Hubblepots will starve. Oh my god, I feel so guilty. Please forgive me, you guys. I tried everything to save them. Oh, I'm such a bad king. Oh boy. It was going to be oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy. There's so many hungry people. Close to their limit, I would need to make some hard decisions. What? Why didn't they die? Oh, then they still had two hearts left. Okay, then maybe we can still save them. But we will see that next time. See you soon, guys.